To master Godot, you need to understand these four fundamental concepts, and they are scenes, nodes, scene tree, and signals. We have talked about some of these concepts in previous videos, so in this video, we will focus on how these concepts fit together. Starting off with scenes, scenes are the building blocks of your game. You can think of a scene as a component or an object inside your game. After you build a scene, you can make copies from it and put them in your game. We call these copies instances. For example, if we were to make a ball simulation like this one, we can break down our game into the following components. We can make a scene for the ball and another scene for the wall. Then we can build another scene called level 1 by making copies or instances of the wall and ball scenes and placing these instances inside the level 1 scene. Then we can tell Godot that this level 1 scene represents our game. Now how do we actually build a scene? Well, to build a scene we use nodes. In fact, a scene is just a tree of nodes. This means each node has a parent node except the root node of the scene. You can think of a node as a feature or a capability that you add to the parent node. For example, if the parent node is a character body 2D node, then some possible features or nodes that we may want to add to the character include the sprite 2D node. This node can define how the character should look like using an image. Another node we may want to add is the collision shape 2D node. This node defines the boundaries of the character. To add a node to a scene, click on Ctrl A or click on this plus icon. This will open up a window which you can use to add the node you want. The nodes that make up your game are attached to a big structure called the scene tree. It is important to note that the scene tree is different from scenes that we talked about earlier. As we mentioned, a scene is just a tree of nodes. When you define a scene in Godot, you are essentially defining a blueprint or a template of nodes that have a specific structure. And when you instantiate this scene, you are making a fresh copy of this node structure and attaching it to the scene tree. To view your scene tree, you can run your game and then click on remote in the scene dock. This will show you all the nodes that are attached to the scene tree. Nodes that are part of the scene tree can communicate with each other using signals. A signal is a message that a node emits when an event occurs. Other nodes in the scene tree can connect to that signal to execute a function when the signal is emitted. Each node has a number of built-in signals and we can check the signals of the selected node in the node dock. For example, a button node has the press signal, which is emitted when the button is pressed. I recommend watching this video if you want to learn a lot more about using built-in signals and defining your own custom signals. To conclude, let's put everything together. A node is the smallest building block of your game. We use nodes to build a scene, which is a tree of nodes. Then, we can instantiate this scene, which means we make a copy of the nodes in this scene and attach them to the scene tree. If two nodes across the scene tree want to communicate with each other, they can use signals. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.